Right, so if I'm painting here, and here's my palette, you can see that you can see that, and you seem to be able to see that too. Alright, g'day there. I'm Richard Musgrave Evans, and I think... Alright, g'day there. I'm Richard Musgrave Evans, and welcome back. Today, we're in Outback, New South Wales, and we're about an hour before sunset. This time, I'm working on a very big canvas, and I've decided to tape the edges. And uh, as usual, it's a clear primed Belgian linen. So you've got that raw look. It looks like it's unprimed, but it's actually got a clear primer over it. Bucket loads of oil paint and uh, big palette knives. All right, now what I've done here is I've just blocked in a quick composition with a few lines, white marks and blue marks and whatever, just to get me an idea of what I'm gonna do. And now I'll get stuck into it. Usually what I do is I'll try and work out what is the biggest difference between what I've got here and what's over there. And at the moment I would say that clear primed linen is uh, kind of an earthy tone anyway, so what I might do is uh, put that sky in. Okay, now that sky's going to change colour very quickly and at the moment it's fairly blue. But in another half an hour or so it's going to have a lot of other colours, so what I'm going to do is anticipate that and stick a few colours in now, and then when that actual time comes, I'll just adjust it. Alright, okay. Before I do the sky, even though I just said I would, I am going to just clear up that horizon. She's a little bit messy there. Okay, so we've got some uh, cobalt blue and white. I just want to get, clarify, a little bit of magenta. I just want to clarify where the sky is going to come to. Alright, so just put a few shadows in on the hills so I can get an idea. Alright, so let me see. It'll drop in here. That can drop there. Just feeling it as I go. I'm copying, kind of copying what I'm looking at, but at the same time I'm trying to compose the picture. So if a hill is not quite in the right place, I will move it to make sure it works better on the picture. I mean the hill, if I moved a couple of foot over there, the hill would be in a different spot anyway. So don't just stick to, got to put the, got to put the hill in the right spot, got to put that rock in the right spot, because you've only got to move a few feet and everything's different anyway. Alright, here we go. Sky, let's get it in. White, hang on. I've got to clean this area up where it is a little bit mucky from the painting of before. I did another painting. So what I've got to do is just clean this area a little bit so I can work with clean colours because at this time of day, this time of day you need clean colours. Alright. Bit of burnt sienna, bit of white. mix that one up. This is always a very good colour for uh, evening effects. Okay, so we'll just get rid of some of that there. Just blocking this in, doing a bit of draftsmanship with the palette knife, working out what I want. Now I just go a little bit over the edges there with the tape, but that's fine because when I peel it off, it'll all come off basically. All right, just want to keep that fairly thin for now. Okay, I'll stand back and just have a look at the composition. Not too bad, I'll just lower that a little bit there. Now it's 
good to take your time when you're doing this part because this is what the whole picture, the whole look of the picture is going to be. These early phases. If you get this part wrong, all you're going to do for the rest of the uh, evening is try to recompose the picture as you're going. It's actually a lot better to get the composition right at the start and then you can just basically colour in. All right. in this one, I'm going to bring that one back because the sky is now, as we get higher, we need a little bit of that blue. Okay. So we've got yellow ochre and cobalt blue there. It kind of makes a pale green colour. Pale green. half mix it with the one below it okay now right a little bit more blue just to darken her up there she goes up yeah, a bit more blue than that So it's getting darker and uh, darker and less yellow ochre as it goes up. Mix, 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 mix. This guy is high. I've got to get on my tippy toes for this one. Now I'll just move all that colour over to here so I can wear it on my pants in a minute when I lean forward. Magenta white reaching up to the heavens. It really is like you're plastering a wall.
All right, you can see what I'm painting. I just want to check. Sometimes I get a nasty glare and then finish the video and I think, oh no, you can't see anything I've done. All right, now I'm just going to leave that sky. It's not perfect yet, but I'm going to leave it and start working with the rest of it. All right, getting a nice golden color there now. Right. Just move that paper towel is flogging like a flag. You don't need that in the background, that noise. Put that blue there. Burn the end of there. Magenta and green, a bit more magenta than that. A little bit of light sky colour in there to lighten the tone. Instead of going for the fresh white, I'll just go for some of these light tones here. I'm just going to put some of the shadow tones that are starting to form. That tape there will take off in a minute. Let's see some shadows starting to fall. Hang on, there's some. Let's try some burnt sienna and magenta. Burnt sienna and magenta. There's some nice rock colours there. They're a bit darker than that. Some nice rock colours. There's a lot of rock in this country. It's very kind of red earth. And tons of gibbers. They call them gibbers. They're little tiny rocks. Bing, 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 bing. Anyway, so there's some pure white ones and there's some dark brown ones. And when the evening light captures all that, oh what fun. So, I'll just drag, lightly drag the knife across. A bit more burnt sienna, magenta. Very lightly scraping it, trying to get those undertones in. And then, once I've done that, I'll actually go for a light tone now. Not so bad a look that is. Orange and yellow, cat orange and yellow to make it nice and bright. Just very lightly drag it. Putting those rocks in as I go by lightly dragging. Making a lot of scraping noise. Oh, that's where that blue went. I didn't see that. You've probably seen that the whole time. Alright, take that one off. There's a creek line in the distance that I better start putting in now before I go any further. Just through this section here, up in there there's a dry creek bed full of big gum trees. You get that here. So that sort of stands out proud. So I'm just going to put the shadow tone of them in. Just throw the shadow tone of those ones in. Make it irregular, never repeat yourself. Get that tone in. Get the edge of that road in, let's have a look.
Okay, the next biggest difference is, let's get some of that red earth in. It's quite a nice colour. I'm going to try a bit of magenta and cad orange with white. Let's see what we get here. Magenta, cad and white. Hmm, it's quite a deceptive colour. It might have a bit of, quite a golden colour too. Maybe a tad yellow ochre. Yep, yellow ochre. More yellow ochre. Let's have a look at that. Get it in there. What do we got? So we're starting to get a bit more of the uh, actual colours now, as you can see. A bit more yellow ochre and orange. Yellow ochre and orange and white. Hang on, hang on. A little bit of magenta as well to knock it back a little bit. back for a minute. just through here, more orange than that. This little light's hitting the edge. It's very light and bright, so it will go lighter and brighter. Plenty of white, and yellow, and orange, all those light tones. Okay, here we go. Capturing the edges. You got the ruts in the road from the wheel tracks. All right, stand back for a minute. Okay, time to take this tape off. That one, that is. Get rid of that. Stand back and I'll have a look. Okay, a bit of magenta. A bit of blue to knock it all back a bit. Even a bit of brown maybe. I'm trying to knock that orange earth back a bit as it comes into the foreground. Key it down a bit. I've gone to a slightly smaller knife than now. Let me just have a look. More yellow ochre. 
that mix. Clarifying some of these edges here. Now, there's the hill line, there's the creek line. Got to key that down a bit. There's a heck of a lot to do when it's fleeting like this. There's not a lot of time to actually do anything but just paint, as you know. Just clarifying the edge of a hill that's rolling through there. I'll stand back again. Okay, now with a clean knife, in case you're slightly bigger knife again, just going to do a bit of blending of that sky now that I've got quite a bit of the colours in. I'm going to blend that sky a little bit more. Okay, what have we got here? down a bit, pull up, I wipe the knife clean each time, get it clean each time, I like that pull up effect like that with the knife, okay so let me just compose these hills a bit, okay. We'll drop in this way like that. Hang on, clean her up a bit. Pull that one down. You've got a bit of a mucky patch. Just got to clarify that edge a bit better, so pulling down and wiping. Okay. Wipe, wipe. Just get some blending going now between them all. Blend that sky. There's a lot of paint on there. Just got to soften her up a bit. Up and clean. Absolutely clean each time. The better one, much better one. Have the patience and timing. Take the time to clean the knife. Save yourself a lot of trouble. Looks like a lot, a lot of mucking around here, but it's actually blending it beautifully. It's getting all those colours now that are coming in, so I've timed it right. All those colours are starting to come in. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll get the big guns out, I'll get the big knife. That's not a knife. That is a knife. It's a beauty for blending like that, an absolute beauty.
Felicia from earlier and a bit of magenta. Just going to introduce that into some of these middle tones with a light not quite hitting fully on the road and on these other patches it can't quite capture as it's getting lower it can't quite hit can't quite hit cleanly so it's got a kind of a key down version and then all of a sudden it jumps up and you get those beautiful highlights so what you do is you key it down key it down so you can then you can put those highlights in so I've keyed it down with uh, some blue, magenta, mixed into that orange. It's going to create a bit of shadow again in a few places. The shadows are starting to kick in now, so there's a bit of pale green in it. So I'll use some. Meridian green, blue, and a bit of magenta maybe. Yeah, they're beautiful colours starting to come across, so put them in, put them in. So, just get them in the right spot. Okay, always moving around the painting, I'm just going to stick some yellow and orange. Put the light on that creek before it changes too much. Get the highlights of the creek. I've got the shadow tones in. Gonna uh, light it up a bit. Alright, done that. Orange and orange, yellow and white. going to drag this. That can either work or you can bugger it. I think it worked in that instant. What have we got? What have we got? Pull that through. Bit of a clean up here and there. Feel these beautiful shadows in that are starting to come. Absolutely fantastic. The cool complementary colours are coming in. So let's put them in. to go with it. Good old Viridian green that I like to use. Just want to clarify the edge of that ray. There's a nice shadow on the edge of the ray kicking in. There's actually a lot of beautiful shadows kicking in now and I always wait for that because that's where you can really get your warm and cool contrast. Do you need to sometimes wait because this particular subject didn't have anything before as you probably saw in the way of uh, decent shadows but all of a sudden they start to kick in and once they do you can really compose the picture with uh, warm and cool.
beautiful hill in the distance that is glowing. It's a key note of the picture. So I'm mixing some white and yellow ochre. Half mix it, get it bright as you can. What do we got here? A bit of that magenta and white now because there's some beautiful complementary sort of things going on over there. It's full of all sorts of oops, that's not right. Full of all sorts of rainbowy colours out there. Nice blend that one. Where you got to work fast now. Stop intellectualising and start just actually getting into it. This is changing. Water. Okay. It's not. Okay, a little bit of blue, white. Move all that warm tone out of the way so I can work here. Just trying to get a cool colour, blue and white. Now for the paint, come and flying. Light tone, very light tone. I just want to introduce some colour here. I notice there's a bit of cloud. Very light tone. Very light tone indeed. I've got magenta and blue in this one. I'm sort of half mixing it in with those colours that I previously did. Because on the horizon, she, oops, on the horizon, let's get rid of some of that. There's a uh, kind of a key downness in those warm tones. And that'll receive it off and make it look like it's going back further, so I definitely want to put it in. At the same time, we've got to mix it. There's not a lot of time to do anything at this time of day. Right. Just have to keep the eyes clean. The sun is almost gone. Shadows have done all sorts of things. There's a bit of energy in the sky.
that one in there. Yeah, that's just some of that in there. Stand back and have a look. Yeah, that's the back of that more yellow. Let's get that little bugger. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Okay. So that should be, this is where you need very clean colours. I'm going for some orange and white. Colours are marching along as we speak, or as I speak. Now, yeah. magenta, white, more white. I want a very light tone. Okay, before we go any further, let's get, if I can, take this off. Ooh, nasty. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Now I've got myself in all sorts of strife. I'll end up wearing that paint. This must be very entertaining, I must say. <laughs> there we go. Just putting some nice highlights where it's gone now, but it's still over there. There's a little bit of sun just out there and it's catching that beautiful light and shadow. So, pinging it in now. Working faster than I can think. That's the only way to go. That way you get, hopefully get the other side of the brain working, the one that knows how to do all this. Coming through, coming through. Right, I can see. The magentary sort of, I'm using some of the stuff over here too. It's starting to kick in on those rocks as the light is just capturing the stringing along them. Just feeling it. Now there's a few clouds in the distance off here, out this way. Beautiful. And you don't always have to put what you see directly there. You can use some of these things as well. You don't always have to just go with what you're looking at in front of you. That's the beauty of Plain Air Painting. You can also introduce whatever else is around. What I want to do is 
Yeah, lightly tuck them in. Magenta and orange. You've got to keep them light in tone though, you need a lot of white. Don't want to get it too dark, that's a bit dark. It's way too dark. A bit more white. Orange. Alright, well that's about it. The sun's pretty much gone for the day, so let's just get the camera off and have a look. As you saw, as the night went on, I went from all cash, 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 and then next minute, bang, game on. Got to get right into it before it all changes. And it had me going for a while there, but um, I'm pretty happy with what's going on, so let's go have a look at it. No worries. The sun has just finally set as I've grabbed the camera. Now you can see it's an evening road effect with distant hills. Got the hills off in the distance, the complimentary warm and cools. And then all the shadows of the foreground as it leads up. The energy of the colours in the sky. As you can see it's all just set now. Some of the beautiful cloud colours that I was using in my painting over there around here. There's the truck in the way. back on target no worries thank you